Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the 2023 Grade 12 Mathematics Paper 2, Question 5 for internal candidates. Alright, so the first question says simplify. So they want you to simplify this expression. So to simplify means something is looking big and they want you to reduce it. Alright, let's just rewrite this expression. So the expression is 10p cubed q to the power 4 over 8m to the power 4 n squared divided by 25p to the power 4 q to the power 3 over 4m to the power 4 n squared. All right, so for you to reduce this, first of all, you can see that this expression is made of two fractions. You have this fraction and this fraction. And there's a division symbol here. So whenever you have this scenario, in order for you to simplify this, it means you need to apply the rules, the same rules that we apply when dividing fractions. So the rules are keep, change, and flip. So these are the rules that we apply when dividing fractions. So we are going to keep the first fraction. So we have 10 p cubed q4 to the power 4, then 8m to the power 4, n squared. Then change. What are we changing? We are changing the division symbol to multiplication. And immediately we change here, we flip the denominator becomes the numerator. So we have m, 4m to the power 4, n squared, over, this now becomes the denominator. So we have 25 p to the power 4, q to the power 3. All right, so we can cross cancel. We can cross cancel by dividing what can be divided here, okay? So n squared, we also have n squared here. So n squared into n squared is 1. n squared into n squared is 1. Then here we have m to the power 4 into m to the power 4. So these also divide, it's 1. And also here, 1. Then we have 4. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 8, 2. We are done cross-canceling this diagonal. We can cross-cancel this. Here we have q to the power 3. Then here we have q to the power 4. So q to the power 3 into q to the power 3 is 1. Then in here it will be, it will remain with a q. Okay? Then here we have p to the power 4 p to the power 3. So p to the power 3 into p to the power 3 is 1. p to the power 3 into two, p to the power 4 is it? just a p. We will we'll remain with a p. Then here there is a number that can go into 10 and 25 without leaving a remainder. It's a, it's a 5. So 5 there, 2. 5 there, 5. Then here we can divide. We have 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 2, 1. So we are remaining with 1 times 1 times q times 1 times 1 times 1. We have q over. Then here we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times p is 5p. So we have simplified. We have reduced this big expression to q over 5p. All right. But b says... Draw a corresponding flowchart for the pseudocode below. So we have been given a pseudocode here. And then they want us to transform this into a flowchart. Okay, so this question doesn't miss every year in math. Those that are doing ECZ. Okay, so before we answer, there are a few shapes. Actually, four shapes that we are supposed to understand. Okay, when they say start, a shape that is used to start a flowchart is an oval shape. This is an oval shape. This is used for starting or ending or to begin or to stop. Okay, so this is the shape that is used at the beginning. All right, so the next shape that you're supposed to know is the parallelogram. A parallelogram is used for entering, to enter, or to display, 
to enter or to display the answer or to output okay this shape is the one that you are going to use for you to enter the information or to feed the computer the information or to display or to output okay to show the output meaning to show the result the next shape that you are supposed to know is uh, the diamond the diamond looks like looks like this so this is called the decision box because this is where the computer makes a decision okay so like for example here if s is less than e then so this is where the computer will make a decision and then for the flow chart you are supposed to use when you reach here you are supposed to use a diamond then the last shape that you are supposed to know is the rectangle the rectangle is also called the instruction box because if you have any formula any formula this is where you you input this is where you feed your formula okay so for example here we have uh, the formula here probability is equal to e over s so probability we are going to say p is equal to e slash s all right now let's go ahead and transform this pseudocode into a flowchart so start we are going to have start an oval shape so we have start then enter we said the shape that is used to enter the information or to display or to input the information is a parallelogram so you draw an arrow like this and then draw a parallelogram like this then you say enter what are you entering you're entering e s e s all right then from there another arrow after you've entered this es the computer must make a decision so meaning the next uh, shape that you are going to draw is a is a diamond so you draw a diamond so that the computer makes a decision so for the decision you have two answers okay the decision where are you supposed to put the decision here where it's saying if s is less than e if so if meaning the need, there's need for a decision so now we are going to ask the decision box to say is s is s less than e is s less than e you ask with a question mark then you have yes if it's yes you have yes and then here you have no okay so if yes here on the flowchart if yes so they're saying if s is less than e then display error message so meaning if s is less than e then that's why we have written yes then you have to display the error message so the shape that is used to display for displaying information is a parallelogram okay a parallelogram so then you are going to write it, display error message like this then if not then this is why you are coming here to say else probability is equal to e over s so you can see that this is a formula and the shape that is used to feed the computer a formula is a rectangle so meaning the next shape that you're going to have here you have a rectangle like this then you need to feed this rectangle a formula which is probability is equal to e over s so probability because of space you just write p is equal to s sorry is it it's e it's e over s don't write the over the one that is horizontal like this the computer will refuse but write a slash okay then after that you have end if you are ending the program now um but we'll skip this we we'll say display the probability 
Okay, so we're going to write this in a certain shape. Which shape is used for display? For display, we said it's a parallelogram. So the next from here, you have a parallelogram like this. Okay, like this. Then you say display P, which is the probability. Display the probability. So which means the flowchart is almost done now. The flowchart is almost done. We are about to close. Not now, what are we going to use to close this flowchart? We are going to use the oval shape. You say stop. Okay? But remember, we are not yet done because even this, if S is less than E, then you display an error. The computer will display an error. And then the, comp the, the, the process will stop. So meaning we need to connect to this. To this like this all right so that's how you transform a pseudocode into a flowchart by understanding various the meaning of various shapes thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing hit the like button comment and share and thank you very much for our lovely subscribers you guys have been so amazing please share the good news that there's a channel that teaches math Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.